right here working at a church. <sighs> Finally getting this done. <sighs> My brother Jonathan told me the most Republican thing you could tell me. He's like, I'm tired of you sending me $100 every time I tell you how broke I am. I want to make my own. I'm like, oh shoot, Claire, that's, that's what I'm all about. You know what I mean? Go ahead and, and get your own. So I'm just gonna screw this in right quick and I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna get to the truck. God bless the USA. Uh, we are rolling. We're rolling, we're heading over to work. Um, there's the wine. Old reliable right here. Work, 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 work hard. Uh, so, a little story about uh, a case I found out. I just want to say two things. Um, so this guy, 30 something, living with his parents. Uh, but I guess his parents is one of those, um, those parents that loves, loves his family too much. Because um, he had his, uh, his son which is the eldest son living with him 30 something has a good job has a good income and uh he had like his niece living with him as well with and the niece has kids and uh of course uh, i have a <clears throat> uh you know family member close to that <laughs> or ex family member that lived in that house as well and uh, they were always really crashing and fighting, but I guess one day um, this guy got in a fight with his cousin, which is a girl, and she really got, I guess he crossed the line and she got very, very mad. So she's like, how am I gonna get this guy back? How am I gonna get him back? So I guess she was mad enough to be like, I am gonna tell my daughter that uh, if she does me the big favor, uh, I will buy her anything she wants, whatever toy she wants or whatever for this big favor I'm about to ask her. And the favor was the following. If she can uh, play along to uh, fake abuse report that she was gonna make against his cousin to get him to get him back for whatever it is you know called her a b or whatever or you know what i mean like uh whatever whatever it is he did she was that mad she was that upset that uh that she she ma made this plan and uh i guess the kid said yes like okay mommy i'll, I'll do it and uh, it went along. They came, they arrested this guy, they threw him in jail. Um, they uh, did like a, a $1.5 million bail. Holy Jesus. Holy, $1.5 million bail? I don't know how, I think what the system is, I've never been in prison by the way, I've never been this close to stuff like that. But I guess it is, you gotta get like 10% of it. That's still a hundred to $150,000. So investigators, they're onto it. And they really talked to the little girl and the girl confessed that it was her mom that told her to do this. Um, she didn't know it was gonna be a big deal and all that. So they dropped the charges and all that. Um, there's no consequences. There was no consequences for this woman for, you know, creating this, uh, creating this false report, this case against this man. 
So, first thing, player, you're 30 something years old, you should get your own place. Uh, second thing, does that look right to you guys? Is that right? That, you know, when are we gonna address this issue? And, and it's not the only case, there's a lot of cases where, you know, women are accusing men of abuse that didn't happen because they're upset because they, they, they you know they're jealous or something when are we going to address this issue this is what i'm talking about um the trash uh which is not trash recycle uh recyclable materials from the stores today i did something i don't even know if i'm allowed to do this so i need money um, it was a slow week last week, so I got paid um, a little check. So I didn't want that to happen again. So what I did was I did my run that my boss gave me, and then I asked one. I asked for one over here. So without the boss agreeing to do, you know, uh, one, I did. I I I, <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I'll, t I'll let you guys know. So uh, right here, you know. All these trucks are, are coming back from delivering uh, some Trader Joe's. I went to Huntington Beach uh, to deliver the um, uh, groceries from uh, um, Trader Joe's. And then, um, you know, I loaded up the empty crates and the recycle. And here I am in line. So they back up. And right there, they empty the trash. Oh, but uh, all I have to do is drop the trailer there. You know what I mean? They don't have to wait for it to get, you know, emptied by the guys inside or anything like that. So, yeah. So, anyways, what, what, what was I saying? Uh, these two things, the, um, uh, the issues of, uh, false accusations. Um, I just saw this guy's, uh, video. This video, uh, and he has, uh, his channel. I saw his YouTube channel. He has 60 videos talking smack about, you know, our church. 60 videos. And he, I'm, I'm jealous. He has thousands of views and and thousands of likes. And, um, it's amazing. It's amazing that uh, somebody can make up a, a lie and, uh, and, 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 you know, and, and people just eat it up and believe it and, and, and make it as a fact they they're they're calling our international director and uh, apostle they're calling him you know the the r word the m word you know the the abuser and and uh, i would like to to ask these people only because he took a deal do they even know the judicial system because the judicial system uh you know like i explained earlier i would probably just take a deal because i am not gonna pay hundred and fifty thousand dollars just to be let go until trial and not only that most americans are in jail waiting for trial because they do not have hundred and fifty thousand dollars to do it so this is this is what i'm saying um and if you need more evidence, name the, 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 um, what's it call it? The victims. If there were thousands, it should be easy to name a couple, no? Well, that's right. They started with thousands of victims, then hundreds, then tens, then a couple, and then three. One is Jane Doe, one is John Doe, one is Jane Doe. What the heck? You know what I mean? I don't even think they have any, uh, any clue about how to how to you know keep us suppressed and keep us you know violating our rights without you know so anyways it's a sham trial they were gonna set us up to fail so the man took a deal but um yeah man i mean i'm i'm still proud of what i believe in i know what i believe in i know who i believe in so, to me, this is nothing, nothing to be ashamed of. 
we have um, examples of this same situation happening in the Bible. So um, it's nothing new to us. We see it. We saw this in the Bible. We saw this in our um, older uh, in our past uh, elders. It happened to them as well. So it is nothing to us. So this short video, um, you know, just trying to put out our point of view. If some people can can make 60 videos talking smack about, about our belief, our church, our international director, uh, I think I can make at least a short video saying and explaining, you know, our point of view, our situation. He is innocent because you haven't proved him guilty. Simple as that. He's innocent because there's no victims. He's innocent because we know him and prior to all these accusations, he was on tour visiting every church in the world. He is documented. There's video of where he has been. So you can't come up and tell me, oh, at a certain date he was doing this. Nah. And all that, you can't. he can't present evidence about his innocence. Okay, something fishy is going on around here. You know what I mean? So, this is uh, morning. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it here. I'm going to go home after I drop my box. And then I will be coming back over here at 1 p.m. to do it all over again. Peace. Like and subscribe.